Hi, I'm Karen Knudsen from Hosting World. We're at the National Hosting Convention in Springfield, Missouri, and today was the huge unveiling of the new True Type Model Cow and Model Bull. We are joined today by the renowned artist that did these stunning pieces of work, uh, Bonnie Moore. Um, welcome. Thank you. Happy to be here. <laughs> um, these were absolutely beautiful. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about Sure, I'd be happy to. Um, and I, I have to share with you that when I did the presentation today, one of the first things I told everyone was that I've, well, it's almost 25 years ago that I began my journey as an artist, and painting cows was what I wanted to do. I grew up on a dairy farm, and, and, and I have a huge love and passion for the industry. That year, I set as my goal that the pinnacle of my career would be one day if I could ever paint the new true type model cow and bull. And today that dream came true. And it's, so it's it's been a very exciting day for me. Um, the journey actually began about a year ago. John Meyer called and asked if I'd be interested in painting the new true type bull and cow. And I was like, yes, of course. <laughs> that would be that would be exciting and wonderful. And so uh, we met the committee first met at World Dairy Expo a year ago. And at that time we sat down and really defined the outline of both animals and what we were looking for and what the, the committee really told me, you know, their desire for um, what would exemplify the new ideal animal. Uh, I was also given about 15, 20 pictures of great cows of our industry, the great bulls of our industry, and the committee shared with me, you know, this is the ideal leg setting, this is the ideal uh, foot and heel we're looking for, this is the ideal head carriage. So I had a great starting point, I had great direction. Um, I would have to say, and I felt up to the test, I felt really up to the challenge. Um, after painting cows for almost 25 years, I said in one of my blogs, I feel this is the test I've been working towards. And so, um, the actual painting began in December with the sketch work. We did the sketch work um, and went through a series of conference calls to critique it. And so little changes were made from the very beginning stages. And um, about every month we would go through and do another critique and make more changes. And so the actual painting though, like we started January and just finished up um, uh, the first part of June, so wow. just a short time ago. Wow. Yeah. yeah, and so the, this committee is made up of uh, readers and uh, it, it's an personnel. Yeah, it's anonymous committee, okay. and um, there was a variety of different people on it. So um, a good cross section of people who work directly in the industry, and I had great direction. It was a great committee to work with. I'm sure, as you and your husband have a farm yourself, that this is kind of a, a maybe even more special than anything that you've done before, just because you can create the perfect. Well, it is pretty neat because um, unlike the people who go in the show ring, you know, you can only do so much to get an animal ready to go in the ring. But with a brush, I mean, truly, a brush is magic. <laughs> you can create exactly what you want. And, you know, for me, the goal was to listen carefully to what the committee wanted. My job was to deliver for them what they were asking for. Um, it, it definitely is helpful to have grown up in the industry and been around cattle my entire life. And my husband, John, was also really great. He would come into the studio a couple times a week, and he actually critiqued several things that I completely overlooked. So and one of my daughters did the same thing. Um, and so it was good to have, good to be surrounded by people who know cattle uh, well, uh, you know, as well as I do. And um, um, in the end, you know, you deal with hoping to deliver what the committee wants and then ultimately the approval of the people. And that happened today, so I'm very happy about that. So did the committee give you a suggestion on what age both the cow and bull should be? Absolutely. We were shooting for a mature four-year-old um, animal for both of them. Feeling that probably as a mature four-year-old, animals have uh, reached their level of full development and maybe at the prime of their career. Um, and so that that's, you know, the age was a mature four-year-old. And the other specification that we discussed was their markings. We wanted something a little a little updated, a little bit edgy, a little bit more modern. So um, Juliet, Juliet, uh, just a little interruption there. <laughs> uh, Juliet is the cow that, um, I ended up naming her, and Romeo is our bull here. 
So um, she got a little bit more um, interesting markings, um, and the bull I wanted to compliment her and not compete with her because the cow is a little bit more the focus of our you know, day to day operating. So, yeah. And I noticed, um, I know we talked earlier about a few um, what I thought were interesting challenges that you had. Number one was the size of the meat. Yes. Can you tell everyone yes. a little bit more about that? Well, I've really, I've never painted this large. I normally, you know, I work in much more traditional sizes of 11 by 14, 16 by 20, uh, 18 by 24. So the, the association uh, commissioned large pieces. These are 36 by 48. So they're big, and I would sit back in my studio behind them, and I mean, I couldn't even see out. And <laughs> my kids would come in the studio, Mom, are you in there? <laughs> and uh, and I guess one of the challenges really was, as I would paint from left to right, like on the scenery, I mean, literally my palette of paint would run out or dry up before I got from one end to the other. So in the end, I actually mixed a brand new palette of paint and went over both of them to make sure I had the continuity and the consistent color from left to right. Um, and I think, you know, I, I tried to work the paintings simultaneously. So I did, I did the basic um, um, underdrawing of the cow, and then I did the basic underdrawing of the bull, and then I went into my foundation layer, and then I went into, and I tried to work them together because it was really important that we achieved a sense of continuity and consistency between the two. So that was helpful. Yep. And I know that another um, challenge that I guess any artist or performer would have like is, is to get acceptance from oh, yeah. your audience. Yeah, and, absolutely. And, um, and you shared um, one of your pivotal acceptance moments happened yesterday. It did. When we arrived yesterday, and I, I have to say I was as nervous as I was excited to come to the convention because it is the moment of truth. And when we arrived, uh, we headed up to the room where the paintings were being stored, and then John Meyer met us up there along with some of the committee members. And um, I was nervous, very nervous. When we walked in the room and the boxes were open and everybody had a chance to look at them, I looked at John Meyer and saw the look on his face. And that, that was all I needed. It was, he was in love. He was in love with these paintings. And I just said, thank you. <laughs> thank you, John. I said, now I feel I feel a lot better. So, And today went really well. I mean, it was a fun day. And the people seemed, and, and like I said, I paint for the people. I mean, if, if the industry didn't have the same passion and love for what they do and their animals, I'd have no reason to work. So it was a, it was a really good day. It was a great day. So these paintings will be at Expo this year? Um, actually, the originals will not be. The originals uh, will come back to Minnesota while we finish up our work for making color reproductions. And then they will be shipped to Brattleboro, Vermont, where they will be on permanent display. And at World Dairy Expo, though, we will have uh, the canvas chick play reproductions, which will look almost identical to the, the real originals. They won't be quite as large. But the um, canvas she plays will be at Expo, and the reprints, the signed in number prints, will also be there for sale. Great. Thank you so much for, for letting us talk to you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations again. Thank you so much, Karen. Okay. Thank you.